Hi, I'm Carter Kirkpatrick, and I'm here to show you how to make a miniature handheld potato gun. The materials you'll need are a chapstick tube, electrical tape, two thumbtacks, an X Acto knife, four gauge electrical non insulated wire, Old Spice spray, you can use any type of deodorant spray. I like Old Spice because it smells good. A hammer, a ballpoint pen, just like a regular Bic ballpoint pen, you know, nothing special. A fireplace lighter, a Dremel drill, and a potato. The first step is to take the wrapper off the chapstick tube, which I've already done. Uh, the second step is to take the actual chapstick out of the tube. Do it. You just unscrew it and just pop it out. Third step is to take your X-Acto knife, you put it at the end of the twisty part where of the chapstick tube, and you go under the lip, you press with the X-Acto knife, and you cut around it like this. Now that you're done with that step, you have a, an empty, hollow chapstick tube. The next step is you take your ballpoint pen and you take everything out of it the top part and the bottom part and now you have an empty hollow tube. Now that you have your empty chapstick tube and your empty pin tube you're going to fit the pin inside the, the side that you cut of the chapstick tube and in order to make it fit snug you're going to need to wrap it with electrical tape until it gets the right thickness to fit inside that chapstick tube. Once you've got your pin wrapped in tape, fit it inside the chapstick tube, like this. Once it's inside, you're going to need to make sure it's a complete seal, so get more electrical tape and set half on the chapstick tube and half on the pin so that it makes a complete seal so that no air can escape through this crack. Now that you have your basic potato gun frame, you're going to need some type of ignition source, which you'll find inside this lighter. Inside this lighter is a little sparker which ignites this flame. And what you gotta do is you gotta smash the lighter so that you get the sparker. But you don't wanna smash it too hard or it might break the sparker. That was a little explosion of butane. Let's see if you can pull it apart. And if you can pull it apart, just pop it right on out. that, get all the parts out, and right here is what you want, see that, you just pull it right out of the barrel, comes out with two wires attached, that's all you need. So the igniter that I had in this lighter that I bought already had the wires attached which saves a lot of money, and just to let you know, the, the brand that I bought is an Aries utility lighter. Sometimes you buy lighters that don't have the wires attached. And what you would need to do is get your wire, cut a piece off. What you would need to do is attach it to one end with a metal contact and tape it around. Then you get another piece of wire and you find any other metal contact and you stick it on that contact and make sure it's a secure fit and tape it down so that you can have two wires that have the electrical current through. And what now the next step is to make sure that how you can get ignition inside the chapstick tube. And what you're going to need to do is use your thumbtacks, and you're going to need to stick them in the tube. But before you stick them in the tube, you wrap them, the wire around the, uh, the pin so that the current can pass through the thumbtack. After that's done, do them on both first, and then start sticking them in. You wrap it around three or four times, make sure you get a secure connection. And you take your chapstick tube, you stick the first one anywhere on the first third of the tube starting from the top. So I'm going to stick it in about right there. It might be a little hard, so you can get your hammer. Grab your hammer, just tap it in there. And eventually it will just go right in. And make sure it hammers down tight so it holds that wire in real tight. Now what the next step is, you got to make sure that you have space between this tack and the other tack so that you can have a, 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 a place for the spark to pass through. So you want to make like sort of like a V 
you stick your tack in the wire like that and you you put your tack in there and it's better to offset them don't set them on the same line you want to put one further back behind the other one that way that has space to make an uh, arc which initially will ignite your um, gas or your old spice and now what you have right there if you can see the spark it's a little blue spark in there and on to the next step now that you got your thumbtacks into the current all you gotta do is tape down the trigger and the trigger is just the sparker and the sparker has a button that you push which makes the current go through which is on the top and you just push that button and it makes the spark so what you want to do is you want to place it under the gun and with the button facing towards the barrel so it's like an actual trigger and you just put some tape around it like this and you secure it in place, you go around it a couple times, make sure it's safe and secure and also it would be a good idea to put tape around the thumbtacks because sometimes if you have your fingers near there the shock or the spark would go into your fingers and it kinda hurts so I would just recommend doing that so it would be insulated. And this is your finished product. I went ahead and blacked it out with electrical tape just for style. So you have your cap, you have your igniters, and then you have your ignition button or trigger. Now I'm just going to show you how to use it. Go ahead and leave the cap off. Take the barrel, stick it into a potato. Not too far, you just want a little bit of potato as your bullet. Wiggle it around so the potato comes off into the barrel. And then you just pull it out, potatoes in the barrel. You grab your ink part of your pin that you pulled out of the pin and use it as your ramrod to push down the potato all the way into the barrel. Next thing you do, you grab your old spice. You put it close to the chapstick tube and then you press down real hard for just a quick second. Just like that. Blowing it a little bit. That little blow gives you oxygen so that it can, it, it can ignite and then just pull the trigger. Enough said.